हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज बी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इंटरव्यू वन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट अ लॉजिक फॉर फिबोनाची सीरीज ओके सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज फिबोनाची सीरीज सो सपोज आई हैव अ नंबर इट इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 0 एंड आफ्टर दैट 1 सो हाउ दैट नंबर विल कम थर्ड नंबर हाउ विल कम so it will come after adding this two number so after adding this two number we will get one okay the so next number is what next number will be next the addition of this previous two numbers previous two numbers is some is two the next number is after that the addition of previous two number that is nothing but 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay the next number is addition of these two number that means 3 plus Two is equal to five. Okay. After that, the addition of these two number is eight. So like that, we can say it is our Fibonacci series. So now understand the logic for this this program. Okay. So now I am going to open my Notepad. So I am using Notepad, and I have created this class. Okay. So it is dynamic program. So it, I am going to declare some variable. Suppose num one. Is equal to one and num two is equal to two. Okay, and after that I will start from one. Okay, not from zero. Okay, in this case I have started from zero, but I am in my program I will start one. Okay, so now num three is equal to num three is nothing, but we need to enter a range. So for range purpose I have. I am going to create variable is nothing but range range after that will ask to the user enter range and user will enter the range it will initialize the value in range variable so range is equal to sc dot next int okay after that What it will do? I am going to. This is about logic, so it will start from here. So we need to print the value from one to give me range. So suppose I want to print this here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and five. So this is about range. Okay. So suppose user will enter some range. Okay, so I want to start from zero to eight, but in my case I am using I am starting from one. Okay, so but if I will, you need to understand. First, we need to print the two number. So we need to print the two number. That is nothing but I am going to write this here. System dot out dot print after that I want to print here okay so here now so here my number is one one okay the same is for number seven okay here now two but You can see here. I have already printed two number, so we need to decrease two number here. So I will decrease two number greater than two because I have already have printed two number. That is one and two. So now how I will get third number? We will see here in this picture. I am getting the, the third number is after adding these two number. After that, how I will get this number after getting previous two number. So if I will do this thing, suppose if number num three is equal to num one plus num two. Okay, I am getting my like that. So I need to print this. So I am printing here. Number it 
is not required here number three okay so here number three so we need to change the value of number and number so how i will change value of number and number here i will initialize the value of number is equal to number two okay num value now number one value now num two and num two value will be num two value will be num three so this is very simple program okay so like that we write our logic so now one more thing is required for string i am printing this value till string greater than two okay so the range value I need to decrease by one. So range minus minus. Now our program is completed. So now I am going to save this program. Okay, my program name file my program class name is script program. So script program dot Java. I am saving in my E drive IP folder. Okay. So save this program. Going to run this program, open run Windows plus R. Open run that. So if I, I will change my command from color, so it will look nicer. You can see clearly. So now go to my E drive. Okay, E drive. I have a folder IP. In inside IP folder, I have a file. Hit program. Hit. I'm going to compile so for Java. Now my program file is compiled successfully. Now I'm going to run. So if program, so it will ask enter range. Suppose I want to print ten. So you can see here one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five, eighty-nine. It will give you ten value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like that we can print our program. Okay. So this is the logic of Fibonacci series program. So thank you for watching this videos. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Interview Point. And you can meet us on my Facebook page, my Interview Point, and it is my blog. If you need the code of this program, you can visit my blog. My blog is www dkinterviewpoint.blogspot.com okay so thank you guys and all the best